here again. Today I'm going to be repairing this uh, quiet flush electric marine toilet motor. And the reason being is I've had a weeping seal and uh, when I disassembled it, obviously the seal that was in there was uh, pretty had it. And you can see it's rusty and the seal surface is gone. But of course where the seal ran has also worn the shaft. Well, it's not so much the worn the shaft, the salt water has obviously eaten away the shaft over time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a repair sleeve. The way I'm going to do that is I'm actually going to use um, some easily, easily available uh, heat shrink. You can get that from pretty much any aftermarket auto store. And uh, the piece I've selected is just big enough that it'll slip over the outside of the shaft. Um, and then you heat shrink it on with a heat gun. Now the piece is uh, about 10 thousandths of an inch thick sidewall so if you double that because you've got obviously it's round it's two sides it's 20 thousandths of an inch bigger than the original shaft diameter but of course that's about half a mil now these rubber seals have got a little wee spring on the inside that keeps the seal the inner part of the seal in contact with the shaft and it will allow that 20 thousandths of an inch extra diameter very easily now the reason is obviously that get this in the future, um, it's easier to just replace this piece of uh, heat shrink, buy a new seal, put a new seal in, and have to replace a two or three hundred dollar motor. on without any interference so I'll go ahead and do that but the repair is now complete thanks for watching